we sent it up the creek this morning, went and uh, checked our crab pots. You only got two little fellas, we let them go. Pretty small movement in the tide last night. Sent that drone up though, you would have seen the crocs in that drone. There was like, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 crocs along there. A couple of little bit bigger fellas. On our way back, as we were boosting back along, um, along those flats, there was nine crocodiles all sitting side by side with each other. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that many crocs in one little location. So that's pretty bloody cool to see that. But the wildlife up the creek is just, it's insane. There's so much, so much happening. There's fish everywhere. The bird life's crazy. What we're doing now is we've just loaded the big boat. Oh, you'll see the tinny. Got the tinny out. We have a few minor uh, leaks in the tinny, unfortunately. <laughs> few quick running repairs as we were pulling the boat out we noticed that the u-bolts uh, on the trailer have rattled loose after a few corrugations the whole axle had moved back so I've loosened these off I'm just running a strap back to the front I've pulled it back straight again we're gonna tighten it back up I need to put uh, double lock nuts on these because they're just coming loose it's only 50k to get it home, so it'll be sweet to get home and I'll have to put some double double lock nuts on there when I get home. While we're under here, a little crack's opened up along this the base of the hull. I've just used si silicon for now because that's all I have on me. I have welded a couple of the little holes up. The fella from work done these for me. The ones we've welded up have lasted not too bad, but there's a small gusset inside the boat that's actually cracked and let go. And because it's let go, it's allowing the boat to flex. It's a little bit worse for wear, but we're making do. The bilge pump works good for now. <laughs> We've got the big boat, we're punching it. We're gonna send it up the coast. We're gonna head north today. We're gonna head up, try and fish a bit of ground I used to fish um, last year. So we're gonna go check that out this morning. There is meant to be a bit of westerly winds blowing in today. There's a few, I'm not sure if you're gonna see on the GoPro. There's one, one boat just here. There's another boat out a little bit wider about here. Commercial fishing boats, they've been sitting out real wide. Um, when we've been fishing the wider marks, we can see them 10, 15k out behind those again. So they've been fishing out real wide, but they're all coming in. So that's probably telling us that the wind is going to pick up today. So they're coming in for a bit of anchorage. But we're going to get the bait, the ice and the beers in the boat. We'll send it north and we'll see us when we get up there. Righto, well we've come along the coast about 15, 20k north now. Just fishing a bit of rubbly ground. The wind has picked up. We've probably got 15 knot winds pushing through at the moment. They're sort of just still easterly, so we're hugging the coast in as best we can. Just fishing a bit of rubbly bottom. Had a couple of good fish here, but lost lost them to the sharks and a few uh, few little fish. Water colour this morning. We've got a big push out tide, so the water colour is very dirty. Gonna keep moving, see if we can't find a little bit cleaner water. Well, we didn't have too much luck on the bait, so we switched over. We're gonna trawl a few big uh, Spanish lures. Great big bommy here, rock comes right up out of the water, so we're gonna try to drag a couple of lures along the side a bit. See if we can't pick up big Mac. We're on, first, first hook up. Done a few laps. Tiny's hanging big like a big big goldie bro. Not running either. Big goldie bro. Holy <laughs> shit! Big goldie. Big dog. Well, not much luck today. Sharks got a few good fish early. Got that one big goldie. We've dropped a few big, uh, few big fish on the Halco lures, dragging them around. 
some big bait schools, big shows on the sounder, but not having a real good hookup rate. Well, that's fishing. We're gonna boost back now. I'm actually gonna go and catch up with Courtney, who's bringing the 100 series out. I'm gonna meet her down the beach, let the tires down. It's her first time she's ever gonna drive on the beach alone as well, so we'll see how she goes. Belting back out the front to uh, to catch up with Cord as she brings the girls in. Thought I'd stop up on top of one of these big dunes. Like, check out how blue the water is here. Absolutely awesome day out the front today. That wind come through this morning and blew like maybe 20, pushing 25 knots there for about an hour or two. But it's backed right out now. We might get a bit of a wind change and uh, Wesley's gonna push through. Plan is, fingers crossed, tomorrow I'm gonna take the girls and we're gonna head out and I'm gonna try and get Xander onto a big Goldie or a big Bluey. She's caught some pretty big ones now. She's caught some nice trout and a few nice big queenies and stuff, but big finger mark or a big Bluey, that would top it off. But for now, I'm gonna keep going. Hello. 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 You know what you're doing there? Nothing. <laughs> so Court's let the tyres down. She's locked the hubs in. We're in four-wheel drive. So I'm just going to follow along behind her. What is it? It's fire. And it's a marshmallow you're roasting on the fire. What is What's it, on it? Roasting marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Oh well, bit of a lazy afternoon. All the boys are just collecting a bit of firewood from up there. We've got a few few big driftwood logs we're going to burn. You watching the sunset? It's going down on the water. It's going down on the water. Well, that trout that we caught, we're just going to knock it. Right, well, that trout that we caught, we're just going to, um, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. Cutting it up. Cutting it up. Right, well, that trout we just caught, we're just going to cut the skins up into small little pieces and do some trout chippies. The girls love it. So all I've done with these is I knocked all the flesh off that you would have seen in that last video. So it's just the skin left. I've pulled it out of the, out of the fridge so it's cold and I've wiped it down with a piece of paper towel. So you just pat it dry. All you want to do is about one centimetre. Ah. Something like that. Helps to have a sharp knife. Alright, so we've got all those trout pieces done. Just give them one last pat down. The key ingredient to all of this is hot oil. As hot as can be, you want to be able to put one strip of trout in and soon as it hits, it needs to curl up. If it doesn't curl up, it's not hot enough, don't put any more in. So see how I drop it in and it hasn't immediately curled really quickly? It's still not quite hot enough, so what we're gonna do is let that heat up a little bit more. Here we go. So that curl is exactly what you're looking for. As soon as it curls up, so we're good. Start putting a couple in. So as soon as they come out, straight on a bit of paper towel to get rid of all that oil, and then hit them with lots of salt. It's no good for cholesterol, but that's it. That's the end result. We're gonna test one. Pretty bloody good, so we'll keep doing the rest up. Xander might have some too. 
No teeth. <laughs> no teeth. <laughs> Now for the fish fillet. So this beautiful trout that we've caught. I just pulled it out of the bag. It's still got a little bit of salt water on it um, that I've washed it in. So all I'm gonna do is dry it and then knock it into small little pieces. And we're doing taco trout wraps for dinner tonight. So. Mm. Two, three. Ziploc bag. Just hit the black, shake, 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 as it comes out, nice and dry, straight in a hot pan. Last but not least is the wings. We'll watch, watch for bugs when you're camping. Last but not least is the wings. So what we're going to do is chuck these straight in a hot pan. Going to do them face down, so we cook the skin first. Well, that's the end result. There's our crispy wings. A little bit of leftover. Courtney's <laughs> trying to wrap a... Pro wrapper. <laughs> Go on then, take a bite. <laughs> What's yours taste like, Bobby? You got some? Yeah. You have a bite of yours, Xander? Toothless. <laughs> that's us. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one.